We're here at the Ericsson OSS BSS Summit in London and with Jason Keane from Ericsson. Uh, Jason, great uh, that you're spending time with us today. Thank you for having me today. Um, so, so tell us about the, the challenges that you're helping customers solve. Well, multiple challenges out there, but I think the theme of our event this year is talking a lot about how we can provide uh, innovative differentiated connectivity and part of Enable that is for autonomous networks. Autonomous networks really is how we can do autonomous or automation at a much scale level that we can help our customers unlock the complexities and the uh, overall the cost of trying to scale manually. Uh, we have a lot of dialogue around how autonomous operations and the transition state from where they are today to level 4, TM4 level 4, TM4 level 5 uh, and what that path looks like. Okay, and so autonomous networks been a very big subject today. I mean, what, what, what should customers' areas of focus be? We had it in so far in the summit, we're about halfway through the summit. We had it so far in the summit is that where do we start? And I, what we say is we say that you, each kind of um, use case or each part of it, you don't get the whole network to autonomy day one. You start with your impactful use cases. Uh, one gentleman used in some he calls it the tyranny of use case. When you define use case, it can be quite prescriptive versus actually bringing true value. But I think even now, given where to take, you still have to prove there's a business value for what you're doing. Automation should bring through a benefit for the business. So use case is the current tool we're using. So what we're working with customers on is what use cases bring the business biggest business impact for you and what's the return to do them. And a lot of customers are exploring those around fault management and so forth to bring real value back to their business. And one of the other subjects which has been quite big today, AI and particularly agentic AI, how does that fit with OSS, BSS? I, I, AI is a big subject every day, not only today, but uh, what, what we see is when you really want to manage this at scale and you want to automate and move faster, you, you have to include you know, artificial intelligence tools around it. Now, there's different levels of AI. There is the machine learning, pattern recognition, then there is, of course, LLMs, there's uh, GPTs, and then the agentic on top. Ultimately, what we see today, there's a level of maturity to get towards Agentic. And there was actually a very good line from uh, one of the presenters this morning, and he analogous, he talked about building software. He said, for years, we focused on building software. Uh, he said, now we need to focus on designing software and let the systems and the AI build it, the Agentic AI build the software for you. I think that's exactly what we see today. How can we do a paradigm shift to thinking about and designing, not actually building? So. That's kind of the major push we see on the AI and Agentic AI. There's some really interesting conversations. Jason, thanks for joining us. Thanks very much for having me.